All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who cannot be imagined in the self nor pictured in delusions. He is not grasped with delusions or thoughts. لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٌ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْبَصِيرُ Nothing is like him in any way, and he has the attribute of hearing and sight. We testify that no one is worthy of worship except Allah, and we testify that our beloved Master and Leader Muhammad وسلم, is his most beloved Prophet and Messenger, who was sent as a mercy to all of mankind. May Allah elevate his rank, his kind relatives and companions, and protect his nation from that which he feared for them. Brothers and sisters in Islam, sincerity is essential in every act of worship, in prayers, fasting, zakah, pilgrimage, hajj, recitation of the Holy Quran, learning and teaching Islamic knowledge, and bidding the lawful and forbidding the unlawful. Therefore, let your intention be sincere, seeking the acceptance from Allah only, seeking the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the one who created us and granted us the ability to perform these righteous deeds and certainly knows what is concealed in our hearts and our inner selves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, قُلْ إِن تُخْفُوا مَا فِي صُدُورِكُمْ أَوْ تُبْدُوهُ يَعْلَمْهُ اللَّهِ وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ This verse means, if you were to conceal something in your hearts, or if you were to make it apparent, Allah knows about it. He knows what is in the heavens and earths, and he has the power over all of his creation. A hadith narrated by Imam al-Bukhari and others relates a story about three people from a previous nation who entered a cave seeking protection from some heavy rain which they encountered in their travel. A large rock rolled down from the top of the mountain, shutting off the mouth of the cave and blocking their exit. They all agreed that nothing shall save them except if they supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the virtue of their good deeds. The first one stood up and made a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking him by one of the good deeds that he had done. He said, O oh Allah, I used to have parents who reached a very old age and I would make sure they drink their portion of milk ahead of anyone else, including my own family. However, once I had to work late, and as a result, I didn't come to serve them their portion. They had fallen asleep, so I collected some more milk for both of them at the end of the day. He continued saying, When I realized they were both sleeping, I did not want to disturb them. I also did not want anyone else to drink from that milk before them, so I stayed up the whole night, safeguarding the container of milk in my hands. I fell asleep holding it. I awoke at the start of dawn and gave them their milk. They drank it until they were satisfied. So he awaited for his mother and father to wake up, not having the heart to disturb their sleep throughout the entire night until Fajr, and the container of milk remained in his hands for them to drink from, so that no one else would drink before them, not even his own family. He said, O oh Allah, if that good deed was done in sincerity to you, then I ask you to relieve us from this calamity we are facing. Once he finished his dua, the rock moved slightly. The second man stood up and said, O oh Allah, I used to have a cousin who was amongst the dearest people to me, and in another narration, I was attracted to her as much as men can be attracted to women. As I approached her, she refused and kept away from seeing me for a very long time, until one year. She was in dire need, and so she came to me, and I gave her 120 golden dinars 
so that I could be alone with her in a room. When I got close to her, she said to me, Fee Allah, and do not try to deflower me except after marriage. After hearing those words, I refrained immediately out of fee from Allah and left with her the gold I had initially given her, even though she was amongst the most loved persons to me. He said, O oh Allah, if that good deed was done in sincerity to you, then I ask you to relieve us of this calamity we are facing. Again, the rock moved a little bit more. The third man did the same as the first two. He said, O oh Allah, I once hired some people to work for me. And when I came time to pay their wages, I paid all of them except one worker. He had left without getting his money. He disappeared for quite some time, and so, during his absence, I invested his money, and it multiplied many times over. He then returned one day and said, O slave of Allah, please hand over my wages. I said to him, Everything that you see in front of you, the cattle, the cows, the sheep, and the land all belongs to you. The man said, Do not ridicule me. I said to him, I am not, this is the truth. The man was extremely happy and so took everything without leaving me anything. He said, O oh Allah, if that good deed was done in sincerity to you, then I ask you to relieve us of this calamity we are facing. The rock moved completely out of the way and the men were able to leave the cave. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this hadith is very famous. It is confirmed and is classified as Sahih. It was narrated by Imam al-Bukhari and others. And it confirms that those three people asked Allah Ta'ala for something, that is, to relieve them of their calamity by their good deeds. We humbly ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to grant us sincerity in every act of worship and to save us from the grief and worries that we hold. Ameen ya arham ar-rahimeen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. And Allah Ta'ala knows best.